Hello, and welcome to this Horus Heresy weathering tutorial. This is the last episode in a series of three videos detailing how to paint a Forge World Dreadnought Drop Pod from start to finish, but focusing on the various weathering techniques that I use. I have painted the pod in World Eater's Legion colors, but the techniques shown here apply equally to almost any other color scheme. What you see now is what we'll end up with at the end of this episode. My goal here was to add decals, to give the entire vehicle an enamel or oil wash, and to add streaking effects. Before applying the decals, it is important to apply a gloss varnish to the entire miniature. This will not only improve adherence for the decals, but it is also fundamental to the success of our oil or enamel washes. I applied the varnish off camera and I allowed it to cure for one day before recording this. In the video I'm using Vallejo Decal Fix to ensure the decals aren't going anywhere, and as you can see, applying them is then quite easy. Once the transfers are fully dry, allow at least 30 minutes for this, you can then apply the decal or transfer softener with a brush. You can and usually should do this multiple times, letting it dry between applications. Okay, so now the real fun starts. First of all, please note that I had applied a gloss varnish prior to this step. Make sure to do so as well. As you can see, I used three different paint wells, one per wash and then a third one with just thinner in order to clean my brush. My mix is approximately two parts wash to one part thinner. Both enamels and oils may be used for this stage. The only difference between the two kinds of products will be the drying times. I have opted for enamels because it dries faster, in just a few hours, whereas oils will take at least one day to dry. If you want to reproduce the same effects using oils, just bear that in mind. But enough talk. May you see how I apply the wash with a gentle dabbing motion. I don't use it as a paint, per se. Capillary reaction does the rest for me, allowing the wash to flow naturally into all the recessed areas. It's almost like magic, don't you think? The only materials that you require when blending are some thinner, a flat brush with an angled tip, and a lot of patience. The wash can be easily manipulated by pushing or dragging it, or it can also be simply removed. Either way, make sure to give it some time to dry first. In my case, I waited about two hours. As you can see, cleaning any spills is really easy. Again, oils are neither better nor worse in this regard, they work exactly the same way. The paints used for streaking effects are also enamels, just like the washes we used before, but they are more dense. Do not thin them at all, just make sure to shake the pot well. What you want to do is to paint a few streaks in areas where rust might have accumulated and then run off. Do not be concerned about the shape of these streaks initially, as we will fix that by blending. In my case, I went around the whole vehicle, picking the spots that I wanted, and then I let the whole thing dry for about 10 minutes. If you start blending right away, you will just make a mess and remove most of it. As you can see, I'm using the same technique I used before for blending the wash. Once you do it a few times, both things will become second nature. If you're a bit OCD like me, it is also great to know that any mistakes can be easily rectified with just a bit of thinner. You can even remove the whole thing and start from scratch if you want. This and the vastly improved flow are the two main advantages of enamel or oil washes versus your run-of-the-mill acrylic wash. A flat brush with an angled tip, as I said before, will give you much better control. Notice also how I'm feathering the streaks, getting at them from the sides in order to shape them in a particular way. My apologies, we interrupt this broadcast now because we have a call from the occupant of the drop pod, Mr. Lorg the First. Revere Ancient, what can this humble servant of the Machine God do for you? So, 
This is the weathering you're always talking about. I guess you're right. It does give my pod a certain character. I shall allow you to continue your travails, priest. So, if like Lorik, you're also beginning to enjoy this whole weathering thing, subscribe now. And remember, in the grim darkness of the 31st millennium, there is only weathering. <laughs>